In a previous video, we looked at binding the AG Data Grid Control to a local SQL Server Express database using Windows Communication Foundation's RIA services. It's also possible to bind the grid control to a SQL Server database using a WCF service and link to SQL classes. In this video, we'll take a look at how to access SQL data using a WCF web service, retrieve data using link, and display it using the AG Data Grid Control. So let's get started. I'll start with a new instance of Visual Studio. From the Start page, I click the New Project link. Here, I'll select Silverlight and click on the Silverlight application template. Let's give it an appropriate name and click OK to create the project. Next, I'm presented with the new Silverlight application window. I'll leave the first item checked so that a new website project is created to host the Silverlight application. I click OK and the projects are created and populated accordingly. Now, to set up the data source, I'll need to start by creating link to SQL classes that will map to relational objects in the database. So, I right-click the ASP.NET application project and add a new item. I switch to the Data Template category and select Link to SQL Classes. This creates the database model file and loads the Object Relational Designer within the Visual Studio IDE. Data classes can be created and edited in the Object Relational Designer. The OR Designer provides a visual design surface for creating link to SQL entity classes and relationships based on objects in a database. From the Server Explorer pane, I'll expand the local SQL Server Express database connection and drag and drop the products table onto the designer surface. To make the resulting link class serializable, I'll click on the design surface and switch to the properties pane. I'll set the serialization mode property to unidirectional. Let's save the changes and rebuild the solution. Now I need to create a Windows Communication Foundation web service. To do this, I'll right-click the ASP.NET project again, add new item, select the web category and add the WCF service item to the project. This creates the web service class and the interface that defines its exposed methods and functions. For this demo, we'll only look at how to retrieve data from a SQL Server database. Therefore, I'll define the getProducts function within the interface iService1. Next, I switch to the web service class. You can see that it implements the iService1 interface, so I'll remove the doWork method and add the code for the getProducts function. This will query all the records within the products database table and return it as a list. I'll rebuild the solution so the web service becomes available to the Silverlight project. I right-click the Silverlight application project and from the context menu, click the Add Service Reference item. I click Discover and the Service 1 WCF service is displayed. I'll expand it and select the iService 1 interface. The panel on the right displays the available operations of the web service. In this case, since I only implemented the getProducts function, that's the only operation exposed by the service. Click OK to add the web service reference. I switch to the Silverlight Designer. From the toolbox, I expand the DevExpress data category and drag and drop a new Silverlight data grid control onto the page. I'll resize it so that it fills the entire available area. To bind the grid to data, I switch to code view. I'll add a using statement for the web service we just created. Inside the page initializer, I'll add the following code to an instance of the web service, set up an event handler for the method that will be called when the get customers completed event is raised, and finally, make the asynchronous call. All I need to do now is to add the event handler and use it to set the data source property of the AG data grid. And I'm done. I run the application to see the results. You can see the data is retrieved from the local SQL Server database and loaded into the grid control. To learn more about the DevExpress Data Grid for Silverlight, please visit the online documentation for AG Data Grid. Thanks for watching, and of course, thank you for choosing DevExpress.